All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to be introducing the next project before we even finish the Mustang because why not buy another project while you're in the middle of another project, right? Um, reason being, it was a killer deal, had to do it. I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Little update on the Mustang. Um, as most of you will know, we're doing injectors. I got injectors from a friend. There were only four. I need six. Bought two more. They're on the way. It's going to take like another week or so. So, it's just sitting like this. On to the next project. Um, I had to buy it, so I have... Uh, I've had plenty of these cars, but I love them. I started with these cars. Um, if you follow the Instagram, you would have already seen what it is. Um, but it's it's amazing. It's in such good shape. Let me just show you. Bam! Got ourselves a '92 Civic hatchback. This thing is a little cream puff. It is so straight. Of course, it's got a few blemishes, but paint's good. Very straight, bone stock. Um, low mileage, too. It's got all the interior pieces, matching interior, which I have had very few this might actually be the first one where I've had these red stripes in the seat. Kind of cool. Um, manual. Um, I mean, let me show you here. So it's non running, but I think I've figured out the issue already. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, has a little hatch cover, which is getting hard to find these days. It also came with a dash cover, which I've never seen or had with one of these, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so got a killer deal on it. Towed her home. Bone stock, AC. It was running until one day it didn't. So let me uh, get the hood up here. Yeah, there she is. Um, the last owner, I guess, replaced the valve cover gasket and snapped that off. So, got to take that out, but everything's pretty much there. Um, pretty cool. So, um, like you guys comment below, let me know what you guys think we should do to this thing. I have an idea, but yeah. I'm open to other ideas. I'm not made out of money, so I'm not going to do like a fully built K turbo all wheel drive type of thing. You know, come on, this channel's not that big. <clears throat> so, yeah, what do you think, guys? Pretty cool. All right, so just real quick. For reference, um, I got the car home last night. Um, I haven't done anything to it. I haven't washed it. I haven't even vacuumed it. I mean, this thing is this thing is clean, man. I mean, everything works. It's there, man. Old school radio, but you know. Okay, so this is uh how it is or what it does. So, just cranks. Uh, I checked last night. Um, doesn't seem to have spark. So, yeah. It smells... I, I could smell the fuel. So, I know it's getting fuel. Um, I bought a cap and rotor last night. I think... I think that's it. I, I, didn't, I, haven't, I haven't, like, diagnosed it. I'm just gonna throw parts at it. You know, because it's cheap. It's a Honda. So, um, I'm gonna do some engine bay degreasing. 
and swap over the cabin rotor real quick and uh, see if I can get her to start. Out with the old, in with the new. Fingers crossed, let's hope she starts. That would be a pretty sweet guess. Oh, okay. Let me adjust the seat here. Okay, come on, baby. Damn it! Ah! Now I actually have to diagnose it. That sucks. Um, at least it has a new cap and rotor on it. I do have an idea of uh, something I want to do as soon as I get the car running obviously but um, nothing crazy but I was trying to put something in the Mustang a while back that didn't end up working because of like some um, god what were they coil wires to the PCM it's not this is not gonna make any sense to you guys until I actually do this but there's three wires to the PCM for the coils on the Mustang I needed one for this thing to work. The Honda has one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wire this thing in and uh, maybe shoot some flames. Yeah, in the stock, bone stock, Honda, shoot some flame. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna do this. Um, we can get this Honda started first. All right. So since I know I don't have spark um, and I have fuel, I'm just kind of obviously going to be looking in this area. I was about to test the coil when uh, I noticed this bolt right here is pretty freaking rusty. That's, um, I believe, one of the primary windings. Um, so I think I'm gonna, actually going to pull this off and uh, sand it. Maybe it's a poor connection. And then... Um, if that works, freaking awesome. If it doesn't work, then we'll, uh, we'll go back to testing. All right, guys. So I've decided to just go ahead and test these while, uh, while everything's apart. So, um, I'm going to get this, uh, ohm tester set up. All right, we're at zero. So I don't remember the specs exactly for this car. But I believe between A and B, it was like half to three quarters of an ohm. And then between maybe A and this primary or secondary, this is secondary. Between A and the secondary was like 12 to 20 ohms, something like that. So we're just going to see what we get here. Let's see if I can set this up to where you can see it. All right, there, you can kind of see that, right? Although you can't really see what I'm testing, but I can show you that here. Okay, so this is going to be between A and B. Yeah, so 0.6 ohms. Okay. And then A in the primary was supposed to be between... 12 and like 19 I believe so 16.5 okay so that seems to be okay well let the goose chase continue I guess um, okay let me take you out the tripod and I'll show you what I was testing again so um, primary windings I think A and B and then the secondary winding. So you'll test here first, and then from A to there. So since the coil seems to be good, um, the guy had said he put new plugs in it. I'm just gonna assume that the plugs are good. Um, the wires are original, but I don't see all four of them going out at the same time. Um, if one went out, it should start. I would just have a misfire, obviously. So, um, since the coil's good, plugs are good, um, I'm gonna go on a whim here, say maybe that rusty connection is our issue. So, uh, I'm gonna continue cleaning up that 
area and then put that little um, screw back in put the cap back on and uh, crank over see what happens all right back together again <clears throat> with that little bolt and contact cleaned fingers crossed again come on baby oh shoot dang it okay so kind of weird here um as you just seen the coil tested good i just hooked up a test light ground and then uh in there and cranked it and the little light was flashing <clears throat> so the only point between the coil and then the wires is the the rotor and the brand new cap so there's something wonky going on here um i'm gonna spray some uh contact oil in here and then uh I'll brake clean it and make sure it's all dried off but um, yeah I mean th this is given spark so there's something between here and there and that one thing is those so weird let's see what this does all right here goes Sweet. Looks like they did a real bang up job doing this valve cover gasket. Gross. Man, I just degreased all this. <sighs> Alright, so as you've seen, got it started. Um, ended up being the uh, crank position sensor that's located in the distributor, so you do have to replace the whole unit. Um, and yeah, nobody tightened these. 10 mils so oil just puked all down that and I just degreased it so that was wonderful um, so cool got it started now we can figure out what we're gonna do with this thing um, I think I mentioned in a previous video but I have a little something that um, maybe it was this video I don't know but I have something I want to wire up that uh, hopefully I can get to work in this because I didn't get it to work in that but um, yeah so just a quick recap on um, the whole starting issue um, and how I diagnosed it. So uh, we we're getting no spark out of the wires, but I was getting a spark out of the coil in here. So from the coil goes to the um, rotor inside and goes through the distributor from the distributor cap, I should say, from the cap to the wires. Um, so I tried a new cap and rotor, we knew that was good. I ohm tested all the wires, they had um, uh, no opens in them, so those were good. Um, the only other thing is uh, the crank sensor at that point, and that pretty much just tells um, the ECU which uh, cylinder to fire. But it was bad, so I didn't know what cylinder it was on and what to fire. So, um, yeah, so cool. Um, new project coming up.